Hey guys, it's Boxer. Welcome back to another video. Today in Fallout 76, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get T45 power armor. And this is pretty much just going to be the good old Watoga server hopping lo location. There's going to be like, I think, four power armor spawns, three to four power armor spawns at the Watoga area. And there's a chance it'll spawn C45, T51, or T60 power armor. Uh, so for the purpose of this video, I'll show you guys how to get the T45 power armor. I'll talk about how to get the T45 uh, power armor plans and then how to get the mods as well. Uh, but let's go ahead and head to Patoka. Alright, so the first location is going to be this crashed vertebrate right here, pretty much in the very center of Watoga. Um, and there is a chance for a power armor chassis to spawn here. Uh, and there's a chance where it won't spawn at all, or if it does spawn, it might have the, the wrong parts. Um, but you can see, like, right now it's not here, but normally it's supposed to be, like, right down there in that open area but there's no chassis spawn on this server um, but this is one location and then i'll go ahead and show you guys another location which is going to be at the emergency services so we can just go down walk down a little bit and then there's the emergency services building and we just need to go to the roof access and once we're in here we just pass that robot and go up these steps all the way up to the second floor and then just follow through make a right past these ghouls and when we go up these steps and then you'll get to the actual rooftop access all right and then now that we are on the roof the second spawn point is going to be right here wow i guess i'm just really unlucky on this server um but this is a second chassis spawn point and it's the same thing the chassis can be here it might not be here and if it is here there's going to be three types of power armor that could be on the chassis um for this particular spawn, there is none, and then there's also going to be a power armor mod spawn point right here on these barrels as well. Um, but yeah, so in a situation like this, normally you check all the spots and then you do a server hop and check all the spots again. Uh, that way you have the highest chance of trying to find the power armor that you need, because you can check like these three or four locations. Um, so you have like, you know, three to four times the chance. Alright, so I'm gonna head to and server hopped. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys the two other locations. A really quick I server hopped just to show you guys what it looks like when a chassis is actually here. So maybe I'll have more luck on this server. But this is spot number one. We have T51 here in Infusion Core. I'll go back up to spot number two. And then I'll show you guys spot number three, which is just across the roof. Alright, so this is spot number two. And here we have a good example of T45 power armor. So you've got the torso, the right leg, the left leg, and the core. So now you're, all you're missing is the arms in this case. And you could also enter the chassis and use that. Uh, no mod spawn this time. But I'll go ahead and show you guys the, uh, the third location, which is just going to be across this roof. For this third location, you are going to need um, something to help you make this jump. Maybe like marsupial or a jetpack. Um, but if not, there's also a stairwell that you can access from the bottom floor to get to this roof. Over here, there's a vertebrate. And at this vertebrate, there is a chance for another power armor chassis. Yeah, this server is definitely a lot better. All of them are spawning in. We have the torso, the right arm, and the left leg. So between those two chassis, now we're just missing the left arm. Um, if I was collecting this armor. The fourth location is going to be atop the, on the rooftop of Watoga High School which is going to be over here. So I'm going to go ahead and teleport. All right, now the biggest question is how do we actually get to this rooftop? Well, if you go below it and then to the right, there's a stairwell that leads right up to where we need to be. So it's pretty easy to access and you don't really need to do another loading screen unless you want to fast travel. Um, but yeah, up here is supposed to be the fourth power armor chassis spawn. All right, so I went ahead and did a server hop just so I can show you guys the exact chassis spawn. And so yeah, this is the fourth location for the chassis. And this time it is T51 power armor. And it looks like there's also a, uh, a power armor mod spawn point behind it as well. Um, but yeah, that's going to be all the four locations for the power armor chassis. And, you know, with just two server hops, we would have almost had the full set of T45. And I would just check the other locations uh, again on this server. And, you know, we might find that left arm and we have our full set already. Now I'm going to go ahead and talk about how you can get the mods. And uh, you can buy T45 power armor mods from any of the BOS vendors. So you could do it at the Watoga vendor or you could go to the White Spring vendor as long as the BOS vendor. So in this case, since we're already in Watoga, I'll just show you guys the Watoga um, vendor. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the shopping center. And then in here, there's going to be Vendorbot Phoenix. 
And Venerbot Phoenix right here is selling all these T45 plans, and it is going to be for caps, so you can use Charisma and like Grape Mentats to try and reduce the price. And like anything that you can boost, Charisma and like Hard Bargain or Unyielding will help it with that as well. Um, but yeah, so actually I don't know if Venerbot Phoenix is a BOS robot, but this is one location where you can get the T45 uh, plans. But I know at White Spring, there's also a vendor there that sells the T series uh, plans as well. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much how you get the mod plans. As for obtaining the actual T45 power armor plans um, themselves instead of like the power armor parts, that's a little bit more complicated, but I'll go ahead and, and uh, explain it. So as you play the game and you loot containers and whatnot, you'll go ahead and find these treasure maps. And as you obtain the treasure maps, uh, they will accumulate in your inventory under under notes. So like right here, I have these two ash heap treasure maps, for example. And when you open it, it gives you like a rough estimate of the location as a picture. And so essentially, I'll link a website in the description that shows you and tells you the actual location instead of just using that picture in game. So it makes it a lot easier. And uh, once you go to the location, that you have a treasure map for, you, you'll search around for the little pile in the ground. It could be like a little mound of dirt. And after you interact with it, um, there'll be like an option that pops up when you hover over it. It will consume the treasure map and then it will reward you like some, some things from a random loot pool. And part of that loot pool is the T45 power armor plans, T60 plans, and the T51 plans. So it is gonna be a bit of RNG. Um, and you'll just have to grind out the treasure maps. One thing I do, that I do want to mention is like you can only activate a treasure map location if you have the treasure map in your inventory. So you can't just go to the location without having the actual treasure map in your inventory because you you do need the treasure map like item in order to get the loot. Um, but yeah, the website will be in the description. It's super helpful and it's made by Kevduit. Um, but yeah, that's going to be pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know in the comment section below. But otherwise. Until next time.